The deadline for the federal government to raise the ceiling on the amount of money it can borrow is rapidly approaching, and there's a lot of concern you know, among lawmakers and in the media and among consumers about what the impact of a breach of that debt ceiling would have. This is something routine. It's been done uh, more than 40 times since Ronald Reagan was president. So authorize the Treasury to pay uh, America's bills. So let's say that the deadline for when the uh, government needs to increase the debt ceiling is passed. They're unable to, uh, to increase the debt ceiling. So what, can you walk us through the scenario, what can we expect to happen? Um, so it would be uh, the tough decision as to where the tax revenue gets spent. Uh, does that mean that uh, somehow the interest costs on past borrowing uh, gets suspended? Uh, is it the case that some people who have been relying on Social Security check no longer gets that check? Or some of the uh, military uh, uh, jets or tanks uh, that have been uh, purchased uh, will not be purchased anymore. So there needs to be uh, some level of uh, allocating that money. Uh, my best guess is that the interest payment will be made uh, because uh, the U.S. Treasury has been the most safe asset ever uh, in the financial market. And to lose that by defaulting, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, and we hope uh, that the interest obligation is made. Uh, otherwise, uh, the interest rate will be rising. Uh, no investors will want to buy U.S. Treasury if they believe that they will not get their money back. So if the interest rates were to go up, let's say by one percentage point, what would the impact be on home sales? Uh, first, uh, let's clarify that uh, if, say, the choice of the tough choices, somehow the interest payments are not made. Uh, I believe that the global investors recognize that U.S. will come through at the end, even if it's a delay for a couple of weeks, even the worst case scenario, a few months, that even if it is delayed, that uh, the investors will be made whole. Uh, and therefore, I don't believe there will be immediate bond market panic and somehow interest rate begins to skyrocket immediately. Uh, so there will be maybe not notable reaction in the immediate weeks or even a month or two, uh, even if the interest rate were not to be paid on time. Uh, however, if this is prolonged, then naturally the investors will be reallocating their uh, portfolio going away from U.S. Treasury into other assets. And any time U.S. Treasury interest rate rises, mortgage rates rise with it. Uh, and to your question, uh, we have seen that if the interest rates rise by one percentage points, or economists would say 100 basis points, uh, we find that the home sales are negatively impacted by 350,000 or 450,000 in a given year. Uh, so you will have a negative impact. Now, if it's an environment of job creation, uh, then some of the negative impact of rising rates can be compensated by job creating conditions. Uh, but this debt ceiling scenario is where the economy faces more uncertainty and probably job losses. So you are in a situation of uh, economy on a tipping point and rising rates, uh, certainly not a good combination.